Alright, that's what I get for letting the battery run down so much. Okay, so we'll go back again. Definition, even. Fx equals F minus X. And then odd. F minus X equals minus F. X. So in other words, if you put the minus in for the x, you can ignore it until the end. So our example is like minus 2 cubed. It's the same as 2 cubed, then you stick a minus at the end. So if you want to check if a function is even or odd, you need to check if these definitions hold. So uh, the example we were just saying, so if I say fx equals x squared, so let's check if it's even. So if I put that into my definition, I need to check that x squared equals minus x squared. Well, that's true because you can see minus 1 squared is 1, so it makes it the same. And then if I was to check if this one here is odd, I need to put it into this one here. So let's check that one. Minus x cubed, is that the same as minus x cubed? And the answer is yes, because what's minus 1 cubed is minus 1. So yeah, it's odd. Are they kind of easy enough examples? And remember, like we were just saying earlier, you can check if this is an even number, it's even, and if this is odd, number then it's an odd function. Although they're kind of simple enough examples. Uh, another way to think about even and odd is the graph it makes. So if a function is even, it'll make this graph. So even functions have graphs that are identical on both sides of the x-axis. So it can be flipped around and there's no change. So that's an even one. So then if you picture x squared, it is like this. It can be flipped around. There's no change. What shape does an odd one make? Well, odd one would be like this. Odd ones are the same in opposite corners. So this matches this one here. So for example, when this is a positive on the right, it should be the same height, or but just upside down on the left. So for example, if this was two units, then this here should also be two units, but just upside down. So if I travel 3 to the right and go up 2, then if I travel 3 to the left, I should go down 2. Yes? Uh, to which? The even? So if you want to if you want a similar comparison, if I go out tree either way, I should go up the same amount. Well that doesn't look quite right. Yes? I can continue? Yes? So that's even and that's odd. Do you have odd as well? Yeah? Okay. 
So, no? Of course, the other way is, what's wrong? Ah, no, I went back there twice now. No, I'm not going back the third time. Copy it from Ahmed beside you. The opposite is true. If you go out three and down two, then when you go back three, you should go up two. So the key thing is that they're just opposites, like that. The minus one is outside the bracket. Hmm? The minus one is outside the bracket. For what? For minus x squared. Not going to be equal to x squared. You're right, it's not. Let's have a look at some examples. So we'll do an x squared one as our first example again. So how can you check if something is even or odd? Well, if you go back to the definitions, uh, for even you need fx to equal f minus x, and for odd you need f minus x to equal minus fx. So what's in common to both these definitions? What term is common to both? What's in both? Come on. Minus. No, minus f is not in the top one. Minus x, minus x is not in the top one. F of minus x is in both, isn't it? So to check if something is even or odd, what you should do is you need to look at f of minus x. If you can make this equal to f of x, it's even. And if it's equal to minus f of x, odd. And if you can't get it equal to either of these, then it's possibly not even or odd. It doesn't have to be even or odd. Even and odd are special cases. Um, so some functions are not even and not odd. So let's have a look at our first example. fx equals 25x squared plus 4. So we start off by looking at f of minus x. So this is 25 minus x squared plus 4. Yes? Which equals 25 x squared plus 4. But what does 25 x squared plus 4 equal? What does this equal? Have you seen this maybe two lines earlier? Come on, wake up, wake up. What does this equal? What is it? Come on, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Come on, what's it equal to? No. I don't want to start calling on people's names if I don't get an answer volunteered. What does this equal? Sadiq, what does this equal? Remember, I said it's two lines earlier. Thank you. Fx. So, is it even or odd? Even. even. Okay, let's have a look at 1b now. So fx equals 25x squared plus 30x plus 10. So I start off again by looking at f of minus x. So that's 25 minus x squared plus 30 times minus x plus 10. So minus x squared, what's that? Well, that's just x squared, isn't it? So this will be 25x squared. What's next? Minus 30x plus 10. Now, you can see that this is not equal to fx. Why not? Well, because of the minus here. And you can also see it's not equal to f, sorry, it's not equal to minus f of x either, 
Because what would you need to have in order to get a minus f of x? You would need a minus 25x squared, a minus 30x, and a minus 10. And you don't have that either. So it's neither even or odd. It's not even or odd. Well, I'll just say not even, not odd. Okay, um, I'm going to do C, but I need you to, there's something missing in the question. Can you just write an X beside that 125, please? So that should be 125X at the end of 1C. Oh, no, you don't have it. Oh, that's right. When I hand it to you, you have to write an X beside it. So 1C should look like this. FX equals 125X cubed plus 125x. So we start off again by looking at f of minus x. So that's 125 minus x cubed plus 125 minus x, which equals minus 125x cubed minus 125x. And what does this equal? Minus the fx, the original. So therefore it is And just before I give you the questions, from the graph, who knows what sine x is from the graph? If you picture the sine x graph, is it even or odd? It's even, very good. And if you can imagine the cos x graph, that one's odd. Sine x goes like this, if you remember. You see, up, down, up. So it's not so distract me sine x is odd because it's opposite in the corners and then if you imagine the cos x graph does cos x start at the top bottom or middle top and then what happens it goes down so cos x is you can see even because it's the same on both sides if you flip it Uh, what about EX? No, nope. it's neither even or odd. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, what about log X? Well, it's neither because log X doesn't even have a graph for negative X. Yeah? Uh, what about 1 over X? Yeah, is it even or odd? 1 over x. It's odd. And you can figure it out by thinking, well, 1 over x is just x to the power of minus 1. So then what about 1 over x squared? Even. Yeah? And what about square root x? Square root x? Neither. Square root x doesn't even have a graph for the negative x. Yeah. And then my last one, what about square root x to the 4? Even. <laughs> Thank you, Ahmed. Yes, even. So sometimes in the exam, it's not clear if it's uh, even or odd from just looking at it like what I just did now from talking to you. Sometimes you have to draw the graph to figure out if it's even or odd. But usually this doesn't happen. Usually a little bit of algebra can help you figure out if it's even or odd. Uh, I think the only time where you have to draw the graph 
is with the sine and the cos. But even then, actually, later in the semester, we'll see some algebra tricks you could do to figure out if it's even or odd without having to uh, draw the graph. But for today, if you get stuck, you can draw the graph. Okay. Now, I'm sorry the battery died near the start. I really hope everything I said you can remember. No. What am I saying? Okay.